10 seconds. 10 seconds. Okay, we're going for the bottom. Five. Okay, so you just started running. How do we get you to run 20% faster than you can currently run? How do we turn your 3K pace into your 5K pace? I got this brilliant question in the comments below. New runner here. I am finally able to run faster from 11 minutes per kilometer to eight minutes per kilometer. I'm still experimenting with my interval paces to find the best fit interval session one times per week. And I haven't increased my mileage while adding this interval session. I run two to five kilometers per run three times a week. I call it 5K consolidation training. I want to lower my heart rate so my body will think that eight minutes per kilometer is 100% easy effort. What can I do to achieve this? Should I continue doing structured training or is there any changes I should do? Okay, it's a brilliant question. I love it. It's moving forward so much so far, 11 minutes per kilometer and now he can run eight minutes per kilometer. And I asked him how long he can hold that for and he can currently hold it for three, three kilometers. So what do we do with that? How do we push him forward? How do we get better from that stage? So if he can hold for 24 minutes, three times eight minutes, 24 minutes, then for three kilometers, that's his pace. Yeah, that's his top end pace. It's his all out pace. That's what he can hold. So we need to work at moving him faster over the ground. He needs to implement speed, which he's, he's sort of playing around with now with the interval training, but he'll also need to add endurance and stamina. How do we get him to the next level? And then what should the bigger goal be? The bigger goal for me is how do we get him to run 5K in 24 minutes? And his first goal is how does he make eight minutes per kilometer feel super easy? So what I want you to do is this, and this is exactly what I would do if I was in your situation. Keep with the three runs, so don't change anything. Wednesday, interval session. Sunday, long run. And then on the Friday, you've got a recovery run, and that recovery run stays as light as possible. If that needs to be 11 minutes per kilometer, 11 minutes per kilometer. Go out there, enjoy yourself, learn to move over the ground super slow, and efficiently and think smooth, light, and later will come fast. Make that a 30 minute run, 35 minute run, no more. And don't measure it in distance, measure it in time. 30, 35 minutes, that's your recovery run. For the longer run, I want you to start at five kilometers and I want you to start with long, slow distance and gradually increasing the distance by 10% every week. And every fourth week, bring it back where you're gonna get the biggest bang for your buck, the biggest improvement, is gonna come from the interval session. And we're going to focus on quality there. You can already go out there and run all out for 24 minutes, three kilometers, eight minutes per kilometer. We're gonna work with less volume. So we're gonna work with 20 minutes. And what we're going to focus on is improving you as a faster runner moving over the ground for segments of time, small segments of time, so that you become used to moving over the ground faster than you can currently run three kilometers all out. So we're gonna skip a few steps because what the typical textbook might say was, okay, trying to get yourself to seven minutes 45 per kilometer, try and get yourself to seven minutes 30 per kilometer, try and get yourself to seven minutes per kilometer. That would take you a few weeks, months, years, etc. What we're gonna try and do with the interval session is get our body completely, make a completely different athlete so that we're used to moving over the ground for a minute at a time, 20 times one minute with 60 seconds recovery in between. But what we want to do is try to cover the same distance that you can cover for 24 minutes currently. So we're gonna run 20% faster in these one minute intervals and try to cover the same amount of ground as we can currently for 24 minutes all out. That's a big ask if you try to do that all in one and almost impossible maybe for you right now. But because we're breaking it up into minute and we're doing 20 times one minute, the biggest barrier for you is going to be pacing that session, which is going to be, although you've done some interval training, that's going to be the biggest effort because initially you're creating a different body. You're tapping into muscles that have maybe not been activated for a long time or never before. So you're gonna feel some soreness, which is the reason for the Friday recovery run. But I want you to let that pace come to you. So you're pushing and your heart rate is definitely gonna elevate, but you're not over striving for something that you're currently not capable of. So 
initially that might look, look something like we're trying to hold 7.30 per kilometre or 7.15 per kilometre or 7 minute per kilometre for those one minute reps. But because we're only holding it for one minute, it feels way easier than the 24 minute pace right now. So you should be able to run 20% quicker because you're only running a minute. The only thing that might stop you doing from that is you're not used to it. And so you're, you're tapping into a completely different athlete, which is what makes me so excited about this question. You've made some improvement, you're 50% quicker than you were, now we've got to get you to the next level. And that is entirely possible. So to think longer term, can we get this guy to run five kilometers in the current time that he can run for three kilometers? Absolutely, 100% yes. The second session that we're gonna do is 10 times two minutes. So simple progression on from 20 times one minute, 10 times two minutes. So the rep length is longer, but what we're trying to do is hold pace or keep it as close to the pace that we can hold for one minute as possible. Now it may take you a few weeks of doing 20 times one minute or starting from 12 times one minute, 15 times one minute, 18 times one minute, 20 times one minute in order to move on and think, right, I've only got 10 reps, but it's double the rep length. It's not one minute, it's two minutes. And so I've, I've got to really pace this, but if I dig in and I'm tough, maybe I can still cover that three kilometers. And so what we're doing within a really short space of time, we're going from 20 times one minute to 10 times two minute, double the amount, double the amount of the rep length, but we can hold the same pace. That's the target. And then again, the next session after that is we want to double the rep length again, and we just want to do five of them. So five times four minutes, and again, you might want to play with more of those reps, those two minute reps, and really get used to it. And wait for the training, wait for the training to soak in and wait for the running to come to you, the pace to come to you, and then move on to five times four minutes. But again, we're going into it. Can I cover three kilometers in the time that I'm running for 20% left? I'm not running for 24 minutes, I'm running for 20 minutes, and it's five times four minutes, so there's only five reps but they're four minutes each, so they're long compared to what I'm used, used to doing, twice as long as the two minutes. But if I dig in, there's only five of them. That's where you wanna be. And psychologically, the one minute reps will end up being the most difficult because when you go back and do those one minute reps, you're gonna push harder, you're gonna be able to run faster. So those three sessions together, if you just rotate them, week one, week two, week three, if you rotate them that quickly, naturally, you're going to have to go slower for the two minute reps and then the four minute reps. But gradually over the weeks, the pace will come to you and you'll be looking at a completely different athlete, I promise you. But just keep it as simple as that. One recovery run, you're just going out there and you're measuring it in time, not distance, long run. 10% further every Sunday. And then that midweek interval session, if you need to start at 12 times one minute, that's what you do and then gradually build that up, 15 reps, 18 reps, 20 reps. Go out there and try to run at seven minutes per kilometer pace and get to that point where it feels quite comfortable. So within 21 minutes, you can be covering three kilometers. What does that then look like when you piece it all together and you've done the two minute reps and the four minute reps? So that will then make, once you start to run eight minutes per kilometer, first of all, you can go way further because it's within you that you can run way faster. And therefore that second gear, much easier to cope with. And then it feeds into the bigger goal, the longer goal that we're trying to run 5K in 24 minutes. So you're trying to sort of pass through what is mentally possible for you right now, trying to blow past that and just get to the next level. And that's where you wanna be thinking. You wanna be thinking that yeah, it's gradual, but it's gotta be exciting. Otherwise, what's the point in aiming for it?